Would EA possibly try to pad the numbers of Dragon Age the Veil Guard? Well, I was told in one of my last videos where I talked about the Veil Guard kind of climbing up in the Steam charts that, you know, hey, I, I still think a lot of people are going to buy this. And everybody's like, dude, EA is totally going to try to pad the numbers. And at that time, I didn't see that information for this game particularly. But today we're going to talk about how Dragon Age the Veil Guard is trying to pad their numbers to uh, probably try to make the financial blow that the game is seemingly going to take a little less to the investors, but uh, let's get into it. All right, so Dragon Age the Veil Guard's about two weeks away, and being that it's coming up, it's still not breaking the top 20 on Steam, although it is a highly wishlisted item on Steam, but I think what that is, is that's a lot of players putting it in the wishlist, and they're gonna wait for reviews. They're gonna wait to see what the skinny is on this game. Can, do people say that anymore? Anyway. And what really interests me out of this whole situation is that I, I'm more interested in to see what the sales figures do and to see if BioWare can redeem itself, even though BioWare doesn't really exist anymore. So going into this right now, a an interesting article just dropped over on the Gaming Bible. I'm not sure how credible this is, but I did do one thing and I went to a website and it would seem that it's true. All right, so over here on the Gaming Bible, uh, Dragon Age the Veil Guard, free download, quietly announced, quietly announced, is a very interesting way to say that. So what it says here is, is if you're looking to pick up a copy of the latest Dragon Age offering, particularly on PC, then you should check out this offer from NVIDIA, as detailed in a blog spot. <clears throat> uh, thanks, Tweet Tom. Uh, those who subscribe to the streaming gaming platform GeForce Now, ultimate for six months bag a free digital copy of dragon age the veil guard interesting very very interesting so i was like no all right let's see if this is actually true and sure enough there it is right there if you go over to the nvidia.com and you check out the geforce ultimate i didn't even know they had their own game launcher i i, I had no idea uh, but that just shows how smart I am, which is not very much. But yeah, you can see right here for $99. So you're going to get essentially a $60 game with this. And you're getting the rest of the service for six months for 40 bucks, which is really, really interesting. So one, what kind of wheel and dealing did they did with NVIDIA to pull this off? And two, why is this important? Well, thinking back to it, there's only other uh, only a couple of companies that really come to mind when it comes to like padding their numbers, and they were other streaming services. Disney Plus was one of them. I remember back a few years ago with every like Verizon phone that you got or every <clears throat> phone subscription that you got, you got a free year of Disney Plus, and it was like, why why are they giving Disney Plus like a lot? Like I didn't even really want Disney Plus. I didn't care about it, but everybody was getting it, and so listening to a lot of other financial uh, websites out there and YouTube channels that talk about this stuff. It's like, yeah, no, they're trying to pad their numbers for their investors, which is really interesting. Again, a lot of people told me that, you know, EA is notorious for trying to cheat the numbers and trying to make things seem bigger than they actually are. And this right here is one way that they're going to try to do it. It's like, oh, no, look, you see how many people got this game? Oh, look, they got it. It's like, see, we sold so many copies of this game. And they'll try to say that it was Veil Guard that took everybody over to the GeForce Ultimate Now, uh, or GeForce Now Ultimate, whatever they're calling it, uh, to download that. And that's why we have the numbers we do. <clears throat> Overall, it's really interesting to see how this is all gonna break down. Again, this is probably the company BioWare's last chance. But again, BioWare hasn't been BioWare in a long time. In fact, Legacy Killer HD just dropped a fantastic video kind of covering the history of what's going on with BioWare and Dragon Age the Veil Guard and did a very, very good job between the or very good job between the people who left, the people who are still there, the creative directions, you know, all of the stuff that the developers are saying on Twitter in the last few days, which is really interesting. Uh, never ever respond on Twitter, especially if you're a game dev. I don't know why people are doing that. That's just dumb. That's just it's dumb. It's stupid. Don't do that. But again, this is really interesting. I w I'm wondering if they're going to be doing this with other uh, platforms out there. Is GeForce going to be the only one that they do this free offering with, or are they going to be doing it more? How are they going to try to pad the stats and pad the numbers here? Uh, one of the interesting things, too, that I think they're going to try to pad their numbers with is I think this game is probably going to get reviewed highly by the critics. Uh, I think all the magazines out there and all the trash rags online are probably... I mean, if I had to guess, I think IGN might just give it a 7 out of 10. 
or actually annoying IGN, they'll probably give it a 10 out of 10. But anyway, it's really interesting to see how they're going to ramp up this cycle <clears throat> and try to make Dragon Age the Veil Guard, you know, live up to the potential hype of the earlier games, Dragon Age Inquisition, Origins 2, a lot of people don't seem to talk about anymore. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I love the conversation around this game particularly because I think this is going to be an indicator for the industry. If this game doesn't do well, I think a lot of people are going to realize, oh, you can't just put out another Dragon Age game like, you know, like, you know, and just call it good. People don't just want that style of game. They actually want good writing. They want good graphics, so on and so forth. And again, I think if they're going to start doing this <clears throat> a few weeks before launch, excuse me, I apologize. More coffee needed. Mm. I think if they're going to be doing this a few weeks before launch, it's not exactly going to spell uh, the best for Dragon Age. So let me know. What do you guys think down below? For all of you guys who told me that EA absolutely pads the numbers, I didn't really respond to you and that I responded to some other stuff. But yeah, it looks like they're absolutely trying to pad the numbers and they're trying to make this game seem like it's going to sell a lot better than it actually is selling by offering it for free uh, with other services. So, and if you guys actually see it pop up in other places for free, you let me know, because again, I, I really, really want to see how hard Bioware is going to try to save this one, especially because their developers been making some dumb decisions going after people online, which is never a good idea. And I just want to keep up with this because it's just, it, it, this is just fun for me. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out a drink with crazy. I do appreciate you guys hanging out. And if you want to see my thoughts on some other things, there's some videos popping up on the screen right now. And as always until next time. Cheers, everybody.